How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore and today we are going to be working on a door handle cup on a Kia Tor Torrento. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these. <laughs> um, this is going to be, this has a really good coverage so it's going to be a little bit more of a difficult install though door cups aren't usually all that difficult. So it's not that it's hard, it's just, you know, a little bit more on the difficult side. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started on this. Yeah, there's a decent amount of stretching in there and it's gonna need some things. All right, so we're gonna get it lined up like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of tack solution right there for the center part. I'm gonna slip on it and we'll go ahead and start squeegeeing this out. So I have no idea where to buy these ones. Um, I got them for free a long time ago from a rep of mine. And they're very pliable as far as you can bend them like this and it give it a nice contour to it. And then you can also go this direction. But most of the time I'm just using this side on door cups. All right, so I'm gonna squeegee the center down first. And because it's got the alcohol in there, that's gonna help it not be able to move around. Now that it's basically just tacked in place is all I'm saying. All right. And then we're gonna go with these. We're gonna take all of this stuff out to the corners. Everything that we can anyway. All right, so that's looking really good. The rest of that's gonna be very easily pushed down with a little bit of tack solution under there. And then we'll go ahead and get on the top part. Right. Another thing to do with these if they continue to pop up is to follow them up with your towel. There's a little finger. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. There was a little one right there. Just take those ones out to the side if you weren't able to bring them all the way down. All right, that looks really good on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take care of the top now. All right, we just wanna make sure we don't have any pre-tacking going on. And then we're gonna go ahead and again, go out to the corners. Sometimes I pull the door handle open so I can really get in there a little bit better. All right, get a little bit of tack in there again. Make sure we get all these edges stuck down. So I don't know what software cut these out originally. Uh, this came in from a body shop. So I just made a pattern from the other from the front door handle cup to match. That way I can match the door handle cup that was already on here. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, I got a little bit of uh, air. Can you guys see that there? Let's... All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get out something a little bit more aggressive. That is the one downside to that little rubber one is it doesn't put a ton of pressure on the material. Okay, so I still got that air underneath there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the edge with my finger and lift up real quick like that. And that'll help pop that up a little bit. And then we'll squeegee out that air. Go ahead and get a heat gun. And then something to note with paint protection film that I don't normally say, but you know, it's a good thing to know is that when you're heating paint protection film to seal the edges, if you start feeling the glove is really grabbing on the material, that means you're probably giving it a little bit too much heat and you're getting really close to the point where that material is gonna bunch up while you're going across it. 
so if your finger is moving you know sliding really nice across the material that's a better temperature to have the material at all right All right, well, that was the process of installing a door handle cup on here. I appreciate you taking a look. If you found anything useful or helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, so just for comparison, let's throw on a really easy door handle cup so you can see the difference between this install and the other one. Like I said in the other video, both of these vehicles are, well, like I said in the, uh, like I said in the other vi uh, video, that one was for a body shop, and so is this one. So we just match what's on the rest of the vehicle. All right, you can see with this one, all we have is a couple fingers on the side, and that's gonna be really easy to get rid of. I still am gonna work those down a little bit towards the corner just to kind of break them up a bit. All right, and then this one here, let's make sure we don't have any uh, pre-tacking going on. So this is just your standard kind of generic door handle cup on this one. I guess it'd be probably done at a dealership. Extremely simple install. And I'm just going back over, make sure I got all the water out of it. And the two hands is just for more pressure because this is a very malleable um, squeegee. All right, let's go ahead and heat seal this one. I mean, heat sealing, you wanna do every edge every time. Uh, even though this is such an easy door handle cup and the chances of it popping up are slim to none, still good practice. All right, so we're gonna also be matching a door edge Looks like they start right here at the bend and then go down almost all the way to the fender flare. And it's got a little bit of rounded edge here and then that one's just cut off straight. All right, so these, these door edges or door edge guards that we pre-cut out and just have sitting around are about half inch wide. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm installing it dry. That's the easiest way to, easiest and fastest way to get this done. And I'm kind of with this hand down here, I'm you know, moving the material to make sure that I'm keeping a fairly straight line. And then I'm also trying to make sure that I only hang over or you know put as much on the door. Let's see, how do I want to say that? I only want the part on the front of the, the face of the door to be the same size as the other side and we just want to stay relatively straight. Alright so down here you could tell on the other side somebody basically just kind of cut that off. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this in. All right, so we're just gonna, gonna wrap this in. And usually I figure it takes me about three passes to get these fully wrapped. And then what I'm gonna do with this one is because we're actually running into the, actually I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of seal for where the metal's bonded together from the factory. I'm gonna put my fingernail in here and try to push out as much of this air as possible. There we go.